Shadow work usually involves three steps, identifying, accepting, and integrating your shadow. The first step, identifying your shadow, can be done through self-reflection, journaling, therapy, and any combination of these. This involves exploring your fears, insecurities, past traumas, and any unresolved emotions. But you're probably wondering, how do you know if an emotion is unresolved? Well, if you see a pattern in any aspect of your life, have a felt sense in the body, or get triggered regularly, then chances are an unresolved emotion is at the root of this pattern. So secondly, with awareness comes acceptance. And you have to accept your shadows without judgment. You do this by acknowledging that these shadows are a part of you and that they served a purpose in your life at some point. This step can be tricky because a shadow could have been with you for years or even decades. And accepting something that could now be showing up in your life in a negative way can be difficult. But removing the judgment is the key to this step. The last step is integrating your shadow. In order to integrate, you have to show the compassion and understanding. Which means you're showing yourself compassion and understanding because these shadows are actually a part of you. Usually the way to integrate is by exploring the root cause of the shadow, the beliefs and experiences that shaped them, and exploring how these shadows have influenced your thoughts, feelings, and behaviours. Exploring the root cause of the shadow provides a deeper understanding into how our brain worked at the time that this shadow was created, and also allows you to see that you no longer need this shadow to be in the forefront, and how it's holding you back from what you actually want in life. Through exploration, you'll find that acceptance and integration will be easier because you can understand why it started and why it has lasted so long. Shadow work is hard, but it's crucial for personal growth and you'll learn so much about yourself. Working with someone who creates a safe space that is supportive in terms of environment is key to doing this work, whether that person is a therapist, coach or a trusted friend. Incorporating self-care and self-compassion is vital because dealing with difficult, uncomfortable emotions can be hard work and especially during shadow work. Give yourself permission to feel and express your emotions without judgment so that you can achieve integration and experience how liberating this work can be. If you're looking to work with somebody, then I'll drop a link in my bio below and hopefully we can book a discussion call and see exactly what your needs and requirements are. But as always, until next time, trust the process and it's bye for now.